Notice here is another skin tumor. Notice the epidermis once again looks normal. You could see some hair follicles. You could see some sebaceous glands. You could see occasional sweat glands. But the entire dermis appears rather thickened. Also notice that the a deep subcutaneous fat has been pigmented with ink to tell the surgeon whether this tumor extends to his margin or not. And it appears that though it doesn't. But let's find out what it is as well. Well, it appears that the majority of the tumor cells in here do not look epithelial. It looks like they are of connective tissue kind of a cell. Notice that no matter where you go within this tumor, you see uh, cells that have fairly nice round nuclei with an abundant amount of foamy, perhaps finely granular cytoplasm. Can you appreciate that? And for that reason, this is called a granular cell tumor. They are benign, plus they look benign, don't they? Because the nuclei are all uniform, not very big, not very dark, not very uh, atypical in any kind of a way. Even though you could appreciate granules within this cytoplasm, almost to the point where it looks foamy or fuzzy, the granules don't stain very nicely on regular H&E. If you were to use a supravital stain, however, like methylene blue, the granules would be spectacular. And they uh, still can show up here on the H&E stain. For a long time, uh, people thought that these cells uh, were related from uh, muscle cells, so they were originally called granular cell myoblastomas. Now, uh, with modern antigen staining, it looks like they may be of nerve sheath origin, like a Schwann cell, and uh, they have many of the common antigens that Schwann cells do. Nevertheless, they are still called granular cell tumors. I'm going to go uh, at this highest power to three or four random more places now and within the tumor and you're going to see a similar type of picture. Centrally located, located small round nuclei, not atypical in any reason, for in any uh, way a lot of foamy cytoplasm. Yes, there is some collagen between these groups of cells as well. But you know these are not normal fibroblasts. You know that these are some type of cell that is separate from a fibroblast and has abundant foamy cytoplasm. Here's a fibroblast. Here's a fibroblast. This is probably a fibroblast. That's a fibroblast. But fibroblasts have spindly nuclei and are always in association with collagen, which you see here and here whereas these cells don't make collagen. They just make these fine granules within the cytoplasm. Let's go to one more place randomly, see the same kind of uh, pattern, and then call it a day. Granular cell tumor. If you were lucky enough to use a methylene blue stay on this, the granules would look spectacular. Thank you very much.